Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another fun lesson in GOFS. So my friends, let's get cracking. Alright, let's start by running through a couple quick things. Uh, make sure you pick a location that looks fun. You can always try something different. I'm gonna go visit Scotland right now, but I'm gonna hit P to pause because I don't want to crash while it's getting loaded. I'm gonna click on my options and I'm gonna make sure that I have my control set for keyboard. I'll just show you this once again, this mix and roll. Uh, you can set that so it makes it a little easier to fly. You'll bank left with the left arrow, right with the right arrow, up and down, change your pitch. If you're on the ground, you can steer with the less than, greater than keys, spacebar is your brakes, parking brake is your semicolon, increase the throttle with the plus and the minus. I once again cannot tell what page up and page down change because they say the same word under them. For your elevator trim, up is home, down is end. If you hit the delete key, which is right beside them, it'll go right back to neutral. Your engine switch is E, your G is for gear, and your flaps are the brackets. B is the air brake, X is a optimal animated part toggle. The other thing I want you to change is to click the controls and let's make it a little more realistic by detecting crashes. That makes it a little more interesting as you play. When you hit close, the next thing I want you to do is click aircraft. Let's pick something else kind of different. Uh, I am going to choose an F-16 Fighting Falcon. And then I'm going to tap the letter C to cycle through the different cameras. So there I'm in the cockpit. If you give it time to draw, you can see all the cool controls. If on the right you hit the number pad, you can actually, with the 9, look out to the corners. The 7 goes the other way. The 1 looks behind you, so you can actually look around as you fly, which is pretty tricky, but also pretty cool. I'm going to keep cycling those views. This is just me flying, and you can see the controls on the bottom, but nothing else. This is a view underneath the aircraft. This is behind again. And again, this is me in the aircraft. This is me from behind. And then finally, I'm back to the normal chase cam. And then where I like, which is inside the vehicle. Remember, G is your gear. If we look over here to the right, this red button means the gear is up. So you cannot land. When it's green, your gear is down. And that would mean it was safe to land. Simply hit P and you will unpause and you can start flying around. Remember being light on the arrow keys is always better than being hard on the arrow keys. It's just gentle taps and then checking out all the amazing things you can see. This is from the follow cam and it's kind of cool to show you that when you hit the plus minus or the numbers on the top of the keyboard that throttle kicks in and you get to see the actual flames on this aircraft. Check out that airspeed. There goes 200 knots, 250, 300 knots, and you can really do some zipping around when you're using one of these sweet jets. Of course, we enabled crashes, so once I get it up to full speed, let's do a little bit of aerobatics. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can hit delete and bring it out of this spin. It does not look good for me, friends. I'm going to try hitting A to autopilot. Hey, it did. It brought me back out. You can see the green autopilot up top turned on. And now that I've got it saved, I'm going to hit A to shut off autopilot. And let's see if we can stick it in the ground and see what those detected crashes look like. Once again, this was Scotland. I don't know Scotland well, but it would be uh, interesting to be able to fly to our houses, see if we can track down things. Uh, I do actually have ancestors on my wife's side from Scotland, which is kind of cool. This is not how I want to visit it, though. Nose first. <laughs> kind of crash detected. Almost looks like I landed. There we go. Spin move to end it. All right, friends, so once again, just showing you that there's so much that you can explore with this. Uh, changing those settings so they fly a little different makes it a lot more fun. And being able to save yourself with autopilot's cool key and using the different cockpits and being able to look out from the sides is pretty sweet. Friends, if you had a good time, please hit the like button. If you had a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. 
Thanks for watching. Have a great day.